So, hello and good afternoon and welcome to another prayer meeting where Our Lady comes in prayer to call us to holiness, to call us out of our sinfulness, our humanness, to pick up our cross, to follow Jesus and to become better people, holier people and better vessels of love, God's love and mercy. And we are all called to be better vessels of God's love and his mercy. And we can all do better. We can all become holier with cooperating with God's grace, going to the sacraments and allowing those torrents of grace that flow through the sacraments to take us out of our mediocrity, our laziness, our humanness, and to become holier, better, perfected people in God's will, his ways, and for us to go then out and bring other souls to Jesus and the love of God. That's basically it in a nutshell. So I'm going to begin with a song, but I'm going to call on the Holy Spirit and the Divine Trinity and Our Lady to come and intercede and pray with us and to bring the whole heavenly court into this room, into the internet, onto this platform. So come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, come by means with the powerful intercession of Our Lady. Come Holy Spirit, come empower us, come fill us, come take away our humanity and overflow, possess us Holy Spirit. Take over, Holy Spirit. Divine Trinity, enter into this threshold, this world, this space, this platform. Come, God the Father. Come, God the Son. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Jesus. And Our Lady, we ask you and invite you, we invoke you to come and lead this prayer meeting in your name, in the name of Jesus. So, now we're ready. <clears throat> if it will start. You are not hidden There's never been a moment You were forgotten You are not hopeless Though you have been broken Your innocence stolen I hear you whisper Underneath your breath I hear your SOS, your SOS. I will send out an army to find you in the middle of the darkest night. It's true, I will rescue. There is no distance that cannot be covered over and over. You're not defenseless. I'll be your shelter. I'll be your armor. I hear you whisper underneath your breath. I hear your SOS, your SOS. I will send out an army to find you in the middle of the darkest night. It's true, I will rescue. I will never stop marching to reach you in the middle of the hardest fight. It's true, I will rescue you. I hear you whisper underneath your breath. I hear you whisper, you have nothing left. I will send out an army to find you in the middle of the darkest night. It's true, I will rescue you. I 
will never stop marching to reach you in the middle of the hardest fight it's true i will rescue you oh i will rescue you you know god never stops searching god never stops fighting god never stops calling us inviting us bringing us to him it's all about god his love his omnipotent love and how he loves each one of us uniquely and individually as his child and that with that's what he's trying to teach us that's what he wants to teach us and he's here to teach us to guide us and he wants us to come to his heart he wants us to come into a relationship with him he wants us to be holy and holiness is an absolute crucifixion death on the cross to ourselves our egos our selfishness our sinfulness but it's a transformative process it's a beautiful process it's allowing god to work with us and giving him the permission and we can become amazing beacons of light we can become better than we are and we can shine with grace with love with peace with docility to the holy spirit and we can attract others like moths to a flame to his omnipotent love that is in us, within us. And it's through living a sacramental life, a life filled with grace, that we can transform and change the world. And that's what our ladies kind of um, putting into my heart as we go through this prayer meeting. It's the theme of change, the theme of willing to change, the theme of not doing our will, but allowing God to take over and his grace to transform us because we can't do it on our own, but we have tools, we have rivers of grace that flow through the church, through the sacraments and through the Eucharist and through Jesus' real presence in each tabernacle. And that's the joy of being a Christian Catholic. That's what we have. But we can also lead those with the other denominations to Jesus, to his heart if we live out the gospel and bring the gospel to others and have that angelical zeal that Jesus had when he was on in earth during his earthly ministry so as I was praying this morning I was in a coffee shop and our lady came very strong her presence was very powerful and she came pleading 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 for souls to turn to her so I'm going to read out this message she says, my children, I love all of you and I don't use the labels or terms your world uses to describe souls. I look at all, every one of you, as children of God, for your souls have been bought at a great price. I see division caused by hatred and unwillingness to love those whom you don't understand or you are afraid to love. Did it ever occur that God could create and allow souls to be different than you? So it could then in turn challenge you to love others. My son's gospels are filled with stories of his reckless love that swept across the barricades of separation, division and hatred. My son loved all of those souls and made it his mission to love all and those other souls found it impossible to love them and made it impossible for others to love those on the margins. My son is the way, the truth and the life. At the end of this journey, you will be asked how much you loved and you will be judged on the measure you gave out to others. My dearest children, at the end, your arms must be filled with deeds of great acts of love and sacrifice. I have been coming to dwell among you for centuries now. My message has always been the same, to convert, to change and to open your hearts to the grace of God's love that you can transfer to others.
God has decided to use you all as his vessels and his carriers of peace and his love. Those of you who are Catholic have a bigger responsibility for much was given to you and therefore much is expected. A lot of you are so blinded, yet in your mission to love, many of you see your roles as gatekeepers and oracles of the church with what you know and how much you know. This fills you with self-righteousness and spiritual pride that you fail and miss the point to go out and find the lost sheep. My children, the church doesn't need protecting by your weak humanity. It needs its doors of mercy wide open to allow the sick to see the physician, Jesus. I see the church as a hospital to help cure the greatest disease the world has ever had to deal with. And that is sin, dear children. It is ugly and it is a terrible cancer eating away at every single one of your souls. Why don't you give me your yes today and help me fill the churches with my sick little children who can be revived by the flowing rivers of grace through the sacraments and the Eucharistic heartbeat of my son Jesus. This is the essence of the universal church and its power to heal. Look to my little dove, my little illuminated light that I guided back to the church many years ago because of how he was treated by the church. He ran away and became an addict of sex and drugs. I pulled him out to be an example of how my son and his light transforms and how now he helps me. But I want all of you to help me. I am using my little one as an example of my love for all of you. Will you please help me, children? Many children are lost and suffering terribly. Give me a yes and we can in turn change the world. Our Lady wants us to all consecrate ourselves, our homes, our families to her Immaculate Heart. I, say your name, Seamus, give you, Our Lady, my life, my heart, my soul, my being, to be used as a vessel and soul of God. And I consecrate myself to the Church to God, to the Trinity, and to the protection of our Holy Mother, and for her to dispose and do with us as she sees fit. I, say your name, Seamus, give you, Our Lady, permission to send me and place me where you want me to be a light to others, to those who have not yet come to know the love of God or even know the love of Jesus. I, say your name again, Seamus, allow God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit and the grace of the Church and the majesty of the Church to flow through me to give me apostolic duty, an evangelical duty, to bring all souls, all those who God places in my path, in work, in play, in duty and service. Allow me, your name, Seamus, to be used as a beacon of light to draw all men in this 
emergency for souls to come to know the love, honour, mercy and beauty of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Lady is smiling and she's happy that people have given a yes today because she wants to use us. She wants to give us purpose. She wants to give us mission. And she knows that her mission on earth was to follow Jesus and to evangelize. And now she's coming to educate us and teach us and give us all the tools and things we need to evangelize the church and the people around it that is most in need and most in need of conversion. That is her message. That is her purpose. She is a mother and she can give us amazing graces, amazing insights, amazing wisdom. And I'm not here to make myself look good or, or, or look better. I, I could, like, what am I gaining from this? I am working in the labouring field of Jesus. I'm working and I am, hold on, <clears throat> I'm working and I'm labouring for Jesus in the harvest of souls because that's what Our Lady's called me to. But she's using me to help you, help her. It's all about us and them and we. We're not better than anybody else. We've all got an equal part to play. We've all got a role and I'm being used and pushed to bring you beautiful souls, to say yes to God now, to say yes to Our Lady, to say yes, to go out and to bring souls to Jesus. We can transform the world with our yes. We can transform the world by agreeing to become better, to, by agreeing to allow Our Lady to take over our lives. I let Our Lady into my life 10 years ago and I prayed a rosary. I seen her in my heart crying tears of joy to welcome me back to the church. And that yes has led me to where I am now. And she has a plan for each one of you. She has a plan. She has a role for all of us. We're all little prefects, little worker bees, and we can bring honey to the souls that need it most and soothe their worries, soothe their stresses, soothe all their anxieties and hopelessness by bringing them the gospel, bringing them Jesus, bringing them the truth, and it's no greater service than to serve God. And it brings suffering, but the suffering and the tears turn to joy. And Our Lady cannot promise us happiness in this life, but she can promise us happiness in the next. So praise be Jesus. This is a little quick prayer meeting for Our Lady to coming into your lives right now through this platform to ask something of you. She wants you to work for her she wants you to say yes. She wants to give you purpose. She wants to bring you to Jesus. She wants to give you joys, peace, purpose, and to know, love, and honour her son, Jesus. So I hope that you've all learned something. And we'll go out with a nice Our Lady hymn. So bear with me. I'll, I'll do an oldie for the for the uh, the oldies, no pun taken, like. But it's nice to do something, and, and it's nice to do a hymn that everyone knows as well. So bear with me a second. I feel one coming as I pray. So let's see. <laughs> Thank you, Mother, for coming to us.
is it going to come? Patience is a virtue. Less seldom in a man, but always in a woman. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. something of us today say yes to Mary today give her your life give her your heart and give her ownership to do with you whatever she sees fit and you will not be disappointed and it will open up a doorway of amazing graces amazing paths and pathways which will lead to Jesus and his Eucharistic heart amen praise be Jesus God bless and have a good evening, afternoon.